I'm just uh, back with another video here. So I was scrolling through Twitter uh, earlier today, and I saw this this post from a guy named uh, David Mosscrop. And I, I've never heard of this guy before, but what he said is, this is low and gross. The NDP, for its many shortcomings, has had an outsized and positive effect on public policy thanks to the supply and confidence agreement, which is not a coalition, and we're the beneficiaries. First of all, positive effect on public policy what you mean like that the safe supply act or the fact that we're being you know over flooded with with immigrants because we don't we don't seem to want to manage it and we certainly don't want to build the infrastructure for it uh, enough to have them and it's not a coalition it's not a coalition that's exactly what it is it's th these these ndp mps with jagmeet at the head of it is keeping justin trudeau in power so I don't know what this guy's talking about. He must be some uh, some liberal hack, which, you know, there's a lot of those on X as well. So let's just have a look at this video here where Pierre Polyev said Jugmeet Singh only entered the costly coalition with Trudeau so he could make it to January 2025. Let's just have a look at what he says here in this video. Are you confident in Jugmeet Singh that he will support or not support this budget moving forward, which would, of course, trickle into an election if he does not support this so let's be honest, Jagmeet Singh is only concerned about his pension. I mean, let's cut the crap, right? He, he has to wait until January of 2025 to be eligible for a pension. He says he won't have a pension. So he's making everyone pay the massive bill of keeping Justin Trudeau around so that he can get to pension eligibility and uh, continue to fund his uh, fancy suits and watches and beamers. And that's what he's all about. Uh, it's a greedy uh, position, but it's, uh, that's what you've got with Jag and Justin, a costly coalition that tax your food, punish your work, take your money, double your housing costs, and unleash crime and chaos in your community. But when the carbon tax election happens, you'll be able to elect a common sense government that will axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's <laughs> the the pre Davis David whatever his name was. He was saying that oh, this is low and gross. What was low and gross about that? I mean, he's just saying what he what he wants to do, and that he's a common sense conservative, unlike these liberals who don't seem to have a have a damn sense of com a damn ounce of common sense. I mean, it's it's crazy. He just said that Judd Mead is waiting for his pension. He is. And then once the the new mortgage rates hit and there will be people who foreclose on their homes they will likely the ones who are already voting liberal somehow will likely not only not vote liberal they might even go over to the ndps so jugmeet's going to have his pension secured and then by the time you know april may june comes along you're going to have so many people defaulting and then all of a sudden next thing you know the polls start to shift and it looks like jugmeet sings close to taking over the liberals and maybe they get third place or second place. So that would be a perfect time for Judd Mead to turn on Trudeau and call an election. There's nothing low and gross about that. It's true. Right? And for this guy to say, like, what did he say? Let me, let me go and read this again here. Oops. Let's see what Mr. Clown said. This is low and gross. The NDP, for its many shortcomings, has had an outsized and positive effect on public policy thanks to the Supply and Confidence Agreement, which is not a coalition, and we are the beneficiaries. The beneficiaries of what? Like Pierre Polyev said, it, taxes are too high. Everything's too expensive. Crime is way up. What are, the, what are we the beneficiaries of? It's just unbelievable. It's like... Again, it's like, you know, a lot of people in the States have Trump derangement syndrome. This is Pierre derangement syndrome. It's crazy. It's low and gross to tell the truth. That's why we vote liberal in the NDP, because we don't like the truth. We just like a bunch of communist hacks who tell us what we want to hear and then destroy the country. Yay. Get fucking real. It's unbelievable how stupid some people can be. Anyway, this is going to be it for this uh, video, guys. I know it was a little bit short, but I will be back shortly with another video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It definitely helps grow this channel, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Also, throw a comment in the comment section. I always enjoy reading those. Take care, everybody, and I'll be back very shortly.